I'm Rachel from Kaggle, and today I'm going to teach you how to keep your secrets secret while you're writing code on Kaggle. So if you want to use something like an API, maybe to get Twitter data, you need to send Twitter two pieces of secret information, your token, um, which says what account you are, uh, and also your secret, which proves that you are who you say you are. And you wouldn't want to post these um, like Twitter token, I'm just going to do uh, something that is not actually a Twitter token. You wouldn't want to place these pain, plain text into your notebook because if you accidentally make your notebook private, oh, sorry, if you accidentally make your notebook public, then that information would be available and somebody else would be able to impersonate you and it would, uh, you know, jeopardize the security of whatever account you are using your secrets for. So don't do this. Instead, you can use a helpful little add-on that we just added uh, to protect your secrets. So this is my Twitter token, let's say. It's not, I just typed some key smash. Um, I can go to add-ons here, now that I'm in the editor, and click secrets, uh, and I can add a new secret. So this is my Twitter token, let's say. Uh, and it has a specific value, which is the key smash that I added earlier. Uh, and I can attach uh, a one or more tokens to my specific notebook. So let me do that. Uh, and then I can save it. Uh, and now I will be able to use this token in my code without actually typing it out. I can just refer to it as a variable. And I can do that by, let me copy this to my clipboard. Uh, using this code that I've just copied and pasted. So um, here I am importing my uh, the information with all my secrets. Um, I am creating an instance of this user secret client object, uh, and then I'm using the method get secret from this object to get the uh, token called Twitter underscore token because that is what I called this Twitter underscore token. Uh, and then I am saving that as secret value one. So then I can refer to secret value zero, excuse me, secret value zero. And I can refer to this in my code and I could say um, twitter.api token. I don't think this is the, uh, uh, this is the actual code and I haven't uh, imported a package called Twitter, but imagine that I have. Uh, and then I can say secret value zero and pass it the secret that I've safely secured in here instead of doing something like this where I have the plain text token available. So this will let you keep your, your secrets, your tokens, your passwords, whatever you're using securely protected um, and will avoid you maybe accidentally revealing them. So I hope you found this useful and if you are doing anything where you require um, tokens or keys or secrets or, or anything on Kaggle, uh, be sure to do it this way. Not this way. Don't paste them in plain text. All right. Thanks so much for joining me today, and I will see you on Kaggle. Bye.